Hi, I'm Stephen Power. I'm a photographer and teacher based on Valencia in County Kerry, Ireland. Welcome to my series of teaching videos. This one is about creating and using the new adaptive ISO presets in Lightroom 2020 version 9.3. Hi, hope you're keeping well. In this video, I want to talk about a new feature that appears in Adobe Lightroom Classic version 9.3 that was launched in June 2020. It's basically a way of adjusting the level of noise in an image that's produced by the ISO setting, but it's done automatically so that you don't have to play around with the luminance or the colour noise settings yourself. Uh, once you've made a few simple um, settings and created a preset. So it's called the ISO Adaptive Preset. And for those of you who are not clear about what presets are, they're found in the left hand column of the develop module in Adobe Lightroom Classic. Um, there are some there for you already that Adobe have um, supplied and you can also um, get a lot free online and buy them as well. They basically have preset changes um, that will change the image just by clicking on the preset you want so <clears throat> I'm holding on the high contrast preset there and that you can see that's added a bit more contrast to the image um, the vivid will bring out the colors a little bit more soft mist makes it nice and soft um, the age photo gives it the sort of a yellowed uh, look um, then there, there are black and white presets, um, infrared ones and selenium tone. There's, there's a whole variety and I use them as a starting point really for making my own adjustments to the image. Or you can just pick one and use that. Now you can also create your own presets um, and this is this is one that um, it's a new one that works really well um, when you've got lots of noise created by a high ISO setting. So if we have a look a close up of this picture of drummer Christophe Marquet, um, you can see that the noise is quite strong. Um, it was. Um, photographed at ISO 3200. So it's left quite a bit of noise. So what I would do with this normally is go into the um, noise reduction panel, which is under the detail settings, just below sharpening, and adjust the until the noise starts to fade. I usually found some, find somewhere between 25 and 30 works quite well for a reasonably high ISO. And I don't like to make it too soft. As you'll see if I go all the way up here and you get this horrible plastic look to the image, um, which is not attractive at all. So I'll give this one about 25, so it sort of takes off the worst of the noise, but still leaves a little bit there um, to give some detail to the image. Now, um, I have another image here, which is um, which was taken at 100 ISO, and there's virtually no noise in that at all very low high so on a good digital camera so no noise um, and 
what I want to do is select both of these images. So I've got the very high ISO um, that I've uh, reduced the, the noise in slightly and the very low ISO image which I haven't made any changes to. Then if we go into the plus uh, sign by the, the presets uh, label and then create new preset we can make uh, a new preset. I'll give it a name of um, ISO uh, 4 5D3. So that's for my camera. What the important thing is that when you select these images for the adaptive uh, ISO preset, they have to be taken with the same camera. So these were both taken on my Canon 5D3. Um, and I've selected noise reduction, which is the change I've made. Then right at the bottom here, I'll select create ISO adaptive preset. And that's really telling Lightroom to create a preset that will change depending on uh, the image that it's being used for. Um, we should see how that works in a minute. So click create and then if we scroll down through all the presets right to the bottom I've got some that I've um, bought and uh, found. There's quite a lot there. And right at the bottom under user presets we've got ISO for 5D3. Now, we'll go back to the um, first photograph, the ISO uh, 3200, and I'll take off the noise reduction I made. So we've still, we're back to a picture with quite a lot of noise in it. You can see it there. Now, so if I use this preset, all I do is click it, and you can see automatically that um, that's gone up. The noise reduction level has gone up to 25, which is where I set it myself. Okay, now, if we take another photograph, let's take one that was, <clears throat> well, here's another one actually that was photographed at the same ISO, 3200. Um, again, if we hit the preset, we'll get an automatic noise reduction of 25 in the luminance on that, but that was the change I made. If we try this image, which was photographed at ISO 400, hit the preset. What's interesting now is that the luminance level has automatically moved to 10. Let's take this one, which was photographed at ISO 800. Hit the preset. And now we have a luminance of 15. This one was photographed at ISO 400, hit the preset, luminance of 10. ISO 100, hit the preset, no luminance. So basically what, what's happening is that this uh, adaptive preset is giving us the luminance that Lightroom thinks works best with the ISO we're using um, in the image. So this image was taken at ISO 200, hit the preset, and we automatically get a noise reduction of five. It's, to me, it's quite amazing and easy to set up. Um, 
and seems to be working very well. I haven't tried it with every ISO, uh, 1600 for example, or going beyond um, 3200. Um, but it's, and then at least it gives a good, if it doesn't work perfectly for you, it gives you a good starting point uh, from where to make your own luminance adjustments. So I hope you found that helpful and come back soon for another tutorial video from Valencia Photography Workshops.